mentioned you're going to get some inconsistencies. And uh, with Doug Fister, you've asked a lot of them so far this year in, in his short career, eight, eight or so starts. But uh, you know, he beat Anaheim. He beat the, the New York Yankees in his debut. <clears throat> with that, the inconsistency is, is location sometimes. You're trying to do too much. I thought uh, tonight was one of those, those cases where he didn't have a real good feel for his curveball. I thought he pitched pretty good for, for four innings, pitched out of a jam in one or two of those. But... Uh, kept us in the ball game and then uh, had the crooked number with the four runs uh, in the fifth inning and got out of, out, of, out of control at that point. And really with CC Sabathia on the mound, uh, you really don't want to spot that uh, that guy with that many runs. I mean, he's awfully good. That's why uh, he's where he's at. And that's why the Yankees are there with, uh, with an arm like that. I had 95 mile an hour fastball and I thought he had probably the best change of seen him have in, in a long time. Stranded 10 on base, but uh, again, I, you got to tip your hat to him. That's just some awfully, awfully good pitching. Uh, I thought Tui Asasoko played an outstanding game. Again, trying to get some of the younger guys in there. And I thought Billy made a nice, uh, Billy Hall made a nice play on the ball at the wall. But uh, I thought the game kind of got out of hand in the fifth inning. And again, it's inconsistency with the uh, young pitching.